Hello, family. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Case. Glad to see you. I may. <laughs> the tall husband. And uh, today, uh, we're, we'd like to invite you to join us for some shopping. Yes. Because healthy shopping. Healthy shopping. Very Somewhat. healthy shopping. Somewhat. <laughs> we're working on me, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I do believe you all remember our first. Uh, called it our vegan day mm -hmm. and uh, that was a lot of fun and we hope we're gonna have some more fun today so happy that you're gonna be with us uh, if you're just joining us now be sure to watch our other videos because they're really cool be like, sure. like yes. my wife be sure to like yes. share and subscribe tell everyone about us because we're we're the K's we are here to bring you love faith hope and basically family stuff because mm -hmm. we're family all of us all of you you're making this happen the same way we are. Oh, I was going to say, uh, before we begin, babe, will you marry me? Yes. I love marrying this man every single day. Every single day. <laughs> Guys, good tip. Uh, marry your wife every single day. Take her on dates and uh, give her flowers, write her a poem. It never fails because it's the little things. It's the little things that count. You yes. don't, it doesn't require having a lot a lot of money or whatnot like just like when he comes home with a simple card and just knowing that he went out of his way to get it for me he comes back and it's you know that to me means more than anything else and for ladies I, I can vouch for at least me for the guys what we love is a smile a kiss and you letting us know that you feel good and that you feel that okay and you feel at peace that to, that to us is our gift from you Yes. Because we want to, we want to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And as for all of you, we want to take care of you too. So we hope you enjoyed this video. So when we get this going, we'll. Um, I think we could start off with a good bucks. What do you think? Good Starbucks? Because mm -hmm. I know I could. So see you there. Hello again. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're at. Starbucks. Starbucks. I know we go a lot to Starbucks. I but mean, uh, we need coffee to get energized. To never go to Starbucks and we run some stuff. errands to, you and know, get catch. going. So, I mean, I like, I mean, I drink black coffee, but, you know, everywhere I go, it's always too, not, not strong enough. And people say, that's not strong enough. I go, well, if it was, you know, mud, I think that would be good. So Starbucks is really, everyone says it's strong, heavy, even a little chemically, because it is very heavy coffee. That's what I like. So. Or like me, where I ordered Thank you, you take Starbucks. We're going to get started for you. Hi. Uh, first, I'd like a venti iced coffee, please, with <laughs> extra soy milk and one and a half pumps of vanilla and no classic. Venti iced coffee with extra soy, one and a half pumps of vanilla, and no plastic. Correct. Anything else for you? Yeah, grande black coffee, please, hot. Okay. And that's all. Five ninety at the window. Great, thank you. Thank you. I know what you're thinking. You guys are complete opposites. <laughs> And when it comes to... But which one of us is the freak? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not that hot. Wait, wait, let me see the temperature. It's it's not too hot, is it? It's a hot day. Hot day. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 81 degrees. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It updated at 79. Wow. <laughs> Look at it. Look at he got a uh, his beard trimmed. Looking good. Wow. Look. I am a lucky lady for sure. In high school, if I got caught dead in a polo shirt, I'd come back to life as a zombie, rip it off, and then then find someone to shoot me in the head, then I'll die in peace. Cause but now What the hell did you just say? My love. Thank you, baby. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us yet again after our coffee. coffee. Now we are at the 99 cent yeah. store. So we'll meet you on the inside. We've got a little list going. Mm -hmm. So see you there.
went to the 99 cent store first, mm -hmm. and then we go to Sam's Club. Because you can get so much stuff here, guys. I mean, it's amazing. I will never. I'm right here. I, I will never stop. I will never stop shopping here. <gasps> Thank you for coming along with us. Call my love. Celery. Celery. So it says it's it's 99 cents, right? Okay. So happy you guys are with us. My wife does teach me a lot about healthy living and healthy eating. And I tell you, it's always a good thing. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 you're gonna scare me or something. Dance with us. Hospitality brand, bunch of cinnamon squares. Basically the off-brand of, well, I don't even wanna say, cause I wanna endorse them. You wanna know why? Cause it's got a bella elefantito, ahí. We love elephants. Did you notice that? We love elephants. Oh, my baby got me my soy milk. Got my love. Yeah? I know you want some more, baby. <laughs> ah! Just take the camera down. I'm getting ahead. Comment down below if you guys watched our spicy noodle challenge with my husband breaking a sweat and Why? almost dying. Why do these things exist? What are you doing? Oh, I know you don't want it. No. <laughs> you know when you're shopping with your kids and they grab stuff and you say put it back? That's easier than that. <laughs> Why do people sell that, like, you know, chemical warfare? <laughs> okay, I better stop talking. Someone might hear me. Are, are they listening right now? Oh. Okay, what's on my list? Sorry, guys, am I shaking you around too much? Here, I'll give you over to my delicate wife. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think most of this, it's funny, most of my stuff will be coming from Sam's Club. But, uh, ooh, spaghetti. spaghetti. No, we got it. Spaghetti. We do? We got mm -hmm. well, so let me show you guys that like, you guys can like literally get some really good things at the 99 cent store. These are some Persian pickles, some mushrooms, some soy milk. Uh, some organic pinto beans. Some of these healthy raspberries. Some more. The strawberries taste like strawberries. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Some dried strawberry crisps. I'm gonna try these. Kind of like a healthy snack. They're all natural. Those do look pretty good. Spinach. This drink right here is so good. Oh my god. The gosh. aloe vera it's one. Like so good. delish. Some uh, bananas. Guayaba juice. It's really good. Some cactus. If you put some 
you fry it with lemon and um, salt and pepper, it's really good. Some more coconut water because you got to stay hydrated. And some of these for the smoothies. You know, they got everything combined in one. So you got some of your bell peppers and yellow lemons. I mean, you can save yourself a lot for all of you big savers. <laughs> I hope we're helping you to yes. make healthier and wiser yes. shopping choices. And for real, guys, I mean, this is a, um, by coming here, even if we have like a bunch of money, I'd still want to come to the 99 cent store because there's actually a cashier here. He's really funny. And, oh, yeah. And I mean, people are real. They want to be real. They want to be real people like, mm -hmm. like you guys. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're having fun. Sorry guys, we're just kind of in the middle of a conversation right now. I mean, all I was saying was that we all have duties, and then she goes on. <laughs> what are you talking about? She goes on this tirade. No more friends or something like that. I'm like, oh, you cannot deny a person friends. Hi. So where are we at, babe? <sighs> Well, I mean, in a relationship, you know, you kind of... Build oh, my up. God. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're at Sam's Club. <laughs> Ta-da! We shopping at Sam's Club. I love this place, too. <gasps> okay, I'm filming now. Happy. Hello. Back at Sam's Club. You guys recall last time we were here, it was actually raining. I remember it was raining a little bit, and... It was cooler weather. It's super hot right now. I don't know about you, but I could really go for some cooler weather. <sighs> traffic. Traffic at Sam's Club. Whew. Halloween's coming up, guys. Got your costume picked out? Here, look at something shiny. Oh, wait, sorry. Here, look at something shiny. Well, I need some sandwich meat, so I think I'm going to rush over. Every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. Okay, let's get to it. I think my husband is obsessed with She's just coming to terms with this now. A little late, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with him, too. I mean, hello, look at that beautiful. Someone has an attitude problem. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
trying to store it, you know, it just won't go in. You, you just get a little teeny weensy, 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 like, you know. Hello again, family. Welcome back to our home. I am now about to cook my beautiful wife some dinner to conclude this video, so join me. Let's go. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do, open up some can of black beans. So, and to do this, because you don't want to cook the beans or anything in its own juices, take the can opener, go ahead and strain it in the strainer, and get some fresh alkaline water or filtered water, just give it a good rinse. And shoot through. Nice. Those in there. Got our beans. And I'm also going to use pinto beans. Black and pinto. Combo. Oh, what am I making? Chili. So beans are ready. Yeah, let me get some better light here. Getting a little late. Uh, beans are ready, and this is your salvation. Soy chorizo, or soy chorizo. We get this at Sam's Club. Alrighty, guys. So forgive my altitude. I'm very tall. So I'm gonna put some heat on here. Got this nice little pan, non-slick. Compliments of my madre mia in law. And here is our avocado oil, and we just basically want a nice, good tablespoon. Uh, yeah, tablespoon. Now. You don't want too much. You just want. Boom. I'm so glad I'm filming this because normally my wife will say, "What'd you do? It tastes so good." And I go, "I don't know." So I'm making a pretty big batch, but I'm still only going to start with just half the bar of sorizo, I'm gonna put in there right away. There you go, cooking away. So we're literally going to skillet this until it gets nice and cooked, really good cooked. You want just a few bits of char, charred bits on it, but not too much. Alrighty guys, so our skillet is skilleting. Sorizo. And I've got my big bowl out. This is where the final batch is going to be. So after that, what I'm going to use as a base is vegetable broth. Not much, because when you make chili, it kind of acts as its own base. So we're going to unscrew this. One second there. There we go. So we're going to unscrew this. And I just kind of feel this out. Have the base in. I'm going to make chili. There we go. And that is enough. That is our base for vegetable broth. Just to give it a good something, you know, in there. And our chorizo is coming along nicely. There we go. I only have it on medium heat. It just needs to kind of sit there for a bit. And then I'm going to turn on the heat for the main basin just below medium. You can just kind of see that. There you go. So this will be warming up. And while this is cooking, oh, and just add a touch of a bit more avocado oil to the basin. That is just to make sure that when everything goes in there, it doesn't stick to the bottom. That's all. Just a touch. And then here's a real cool part. When 
you have your when you have your basin kind of mellowing out there, you can put seasoning in there because you have the broth as the base, and you can take really cool stuff like we just got this some granulated garlic. Boom! Look at that. Sam's Club, right there. You just sprinkle that in there. Kind of see in the video. As you can see, it's getting a little charred, but not quite yet. You just want to put a touch a little longer, and then I'll bring you back when it's ready to go into the main basin along with the beans. And then we're also going to add some special tomato sauce, basically a good old fashioned marinara, and this is going to really be the kicker. I would make a, I like to make my own version of it, but my wife really loves this brand, so I'll get back to you, and then we'll stir it up, stir it all in. Okay, guys, here comes the fun part. We can take our nice cooked sorizo and put it in the basin. Yes. Put that off to the side. Make sure the burners are off on that end. Stir it in there a touch. Take our prepared beans that are all washed and strained. Toss them in there. Ooh, yeah. I have the heat, again, right there at medium. I'm going to turn it on just a bit past medium, get it nice and hot. I'm also going to turn on the vent, so bear with me. And we are going to open up the marinara sauce, pour it in there, and we are going to stir this sucker and season it up, and that's going to be the fun part. Get back to you on that. I'm going to stir that all up in there. Now it's not fully seasoned, the chili, because before we season it, we got to put in the good stuff. Here we go. Boom! Oh, yeah, look at that. I didn't use the whole thing. About three quarters. Now we stir that bad boy up. Check the density. If it's too watery, put a bit more of the sauce in. If it's too thick, put more broth. You don't have to use broth. You can use water if you want. But broth does add a bit more character to it. And I think I aimed it just about right. Look at that. Because you also want to keep in mind that while you're cooking it, a lot of the broth or the liquid will evaporate because of the heat. So take that into account when you're mixing in your sauce. Now here's the part I like. I start simple. Himalayan pink salt. Can't go wrong. Grind this bad boy up. Here, let me put you down for a second. There we go. Now I have two hands. Can't see my face, but it's okay. It's all about the meal right now. So I start simple. Himalayan pink salt. Grind that bad boy in there. Don't be shy. Next, again, basic. Pepper. Good old fashioned, what is, uh, yeah, good old fashioned black pepper right there. Um, now, what I also like to do on occasion is lemon pepper, but let's smell the batch. Yeah, that's going to need a lot of seasoning. So, compare and contrast, lemon pepper just a little bit. But this is already, I can tell by the smell, more salt. All right. Now, in order to counteract the salt, because even if the right salt is put in, it might still taste you too salty. So that's why you want to get your green seasoning. Start with something simple like thyme. Give it a whiff. Would it be good? I think so. Throw in that thyme. Get it all in there. Get your rosemary. So you got your rosemary and throw that in there. Always give it a whiff before because you don't want to put something in there that doesn't belong. There you go. Perfect. Stir that in there. I'm gonna need a lot more garlic. Granulated. Get the granulated. red stuff everywhere of course and naturally I'm wearing a white shirt so right here this is cayenne pepper and this stuff is really gonna knock your socks out and you don't need to put this on your hand just sprinkle it in there not too much you don't need a lot I put in about maybe uh, just below a tablespoon right now one teaspoon And I actually, my eye just now caught something that I'm going to put in here for fun. 
red chili pepper, but just a little bit. A little bit. Like think about it, it it's your pizza and you're just sprinkling it on there. Boom. There you go. And just for good measure, I'm gonna take a little bit more vegetable broth and go. You, you literally have to go blip when you do it. Just go blip. There you go. That's it. Blip. too high. Let's turn down the heat just a touch. Now it's just below medium heat. Mmm. Oh yeah. There it is. I'm going to do the most important part of this meal. Of any meal you could ever do. Guys, girls, doesn't matter. But most importantly, guys. So, observe very, very closely. If you value your meal, you're gonna do exactly like I do. Take the spoon, make sure your heat is all the way low. Get a nice, good portion. And then carefully take it over to your spouse. Because this is going to either make or break the entire dish. Well, there she is. Hang on, let me get, let me get the light on. So here we go. Careful, babe, it's hot. Here we go. Mm. Is it good? Cool. Mm. Bon appetit. <laughs> it's so good. Very good. I love it, baby. Very good. I'm glad. I'm excited. Good. Well, and just, you know, if you guys want to taste. Whoa, okay, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Your kind of had a little accent here. It, it wasn't me. It, it... Oh my gosh, every time when my husband cooks, you know there's going to be like a disaster, like a hurricane or something of that sort. It's okay, because he cooks really good, so. I'll just clean it up at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Hope you, you guys enjoyed our wonderful day together. It was amazing. We're so happy to have you with wow. us. And hey, if you try out that recipe, because it's different every time. Like I said, my wife says, what'd you do? You should film it so people remember and you remember. Mm -hmm. Every time it's like, oh. Hope you. Yeah. Tell us how it turns out. If uh, you have any suggestions for me too, I'm open to them because hey, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we love you. Mm -hmm. Any last words for our wonderful, beautiful, amazing, cool family who's supporting us and who's going to be with us forever? <laughs> nope, just uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank and you guys, really. Thank you for keeping up with the kids. We love you so much, and we'll see you next time. Whoops.